few good many months ago, just killed his daddy in Arkansas, and the judge said, Brother Olaf, if you'll take him, he doesn't need to go to the His dad's a very mean man. And said, uh, would you take him? I said, yes, sir. We took old Leroy. He made one of the finest gentlemen we've ever had. One of the most courteous young men I've ever known in my life. He just needed to be saved. Mother called me the other day and said, Brother Olaf, my two boys just shot my husband and killed him. Thirteen and fourteen. The thirteen-year-old killed the daddy. Laying up in the bed, the daddy was a wicked man, refused to let the boys even go to Sunday school and church, and was mean, and finally one of the boys just came in and shot him while he was asleep and killed him. We're living in violent times. We're living in slavery, in bondage. And Moses was raised up. He came up to the bush. You know, man reverses everything. You take this uh, hippie crowd, they call it rock music. Well, that's mud music. No rock about it. But you see, they're trying to get something sacred to tie it with their filth. Jesus is the rock. And on Christ the solid rock, you and I stand and all of the ground just shifting and sinking sand. But you see, they, they try to take the rock. I'll tell you something else. And I, I'm, I think I'd like to preach, and I've just got a few minutes, preach on the bushman. We need some bushmen. But you, people have turned that around. Somebody comes walking in, about uh, half falling, and he said, I'm bushed. You ever heard that? Well, Brother Moses wasn't worth killing until he got bushed. <laughs> Isn't that right? What did his education do for him? What did his loneliness do for him? All of it had a part, but he had to come up to the bush where he could meet the great I am and get his orders and go down to headquarters and say, turn them loose. I'm getting them out of here. And he did it the same way I've done what little I've done, and that is in the name of the great I am. And that's Jesus. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the resurrection. I am the water. I am the light. I am... Brother, he, He's everything that's decent and good and right and that you need right now. Don't let your salvation become a theory. Let it go to work and practice. The lawyer says, I practice law. The doctor said, I practice medicine. The Christian says... I practice Christ. And that's the way it ought to be. Oh, today. He met him at the burning bush. Went down into Pharaoh's office. He led millions. You know how he led them out? Not through the first nine plagues. They didn't make a lick of progress during those nine plagues. The blood. And if you forget everything I say, you just remember this. The blood of Jesus Christ still cleanses people from sin. I had no chance with Sandy or Diane or any of these other girls until they were covered by the blood by faith in Jesus Christ. And that's what this school has been built on, the power that's in the blood. You don't need influence. We're trying to influence people, you know. How to win friends and influence people. Brother... Paul didn't have enough influence to keep him out of jail, but he had enough of the power of God to pray down an earthquake and get him out. Amen. The church over there uh, had Peter for their pastor, and uh, they didn't have enough influence to keep their pastor out of jail, but they had enough power with God to pray him out, and he came a-knocking on the gate. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, didn't have enough influence to keep him off of an old rugged cross. But thank God, he had enough power to come walking out on the third morning under the power of the blood of the everlasting covenant. And that's what you and I need this morning. More than we need anything else. Education without regeneration and sanctification is an abomination. But count it all joy to be lined up in a Christian school that knows the truth, that have a faculty, that walk in the truth and live the truth. An old song popped into my mind. 
that I've revived. It's over a hundred years old. It's an old-fashioned song. We'll have to close with this. Dark the sin that soiled man's nature, long the distance that he fell, far removed from hope and heaven, near to deep despair and hell. But there was a fountain opened, and the blood of God's own Son purifies the soul and reaches deeper than the stain has gone. Praise the Lord for full salvation. God still lives upon the throne. And I know the blood still reaches deeper than the stain has gone. Conscious of that deep pollution, sinners wander on in the night. Even though the shepherd's calling, still they fear to face the light. This the tender consolation that should melt that old heart of stone. This sweet balm of Gilead reaches deeper than the stain has gone. Praise the Lord for full salvation. God still lives upon the throne. And I know the blood still reaches deeper than the All unworthy we who've wandered and our eyes are wet with tears as we think of the love that sought us through those old dreary wasted years. Yet we'll walk the holy highway for the pure the blood washed alone, knowing Calvary's fountain reaches deeper than the stain has gone. When with holy throngs we're standing in the presence of the great King, and our souls are lost in wonder, as the white robe choirs shall sing, then we'll praise the sweet name of Jesus with the millions all around the throne. We'll praise Him for the blood that reached us deeper than the stain has gone. Will you sing it now? Praise the Lord for full salvation. God still lives upon the ground. And I know the blood still reaches deeper than the stain has gone. By your heads. Our Father, finish the message today. Bless the student body and the faithful faculty and provide all the needs for this more than an institution, a great Christian school. Lord, I pray that the students seem like, as I looked across this sea of faces from balcony downstairs, if there could be any hope left for a nation that's so wicked, it'd have to be in a crowd like this. And so, Lord, bless them today. Bless the leaders, the president, the chancellor, and all the rest of them. I pray that thy spirit may hover close. No, may they never forget the great I Am that liberates the captives from Egypt's land of sin. And so, Lord, bless this service and the other services in the church. Bless every student and their loved ones. In Jesus' sweet and precious name we pray. Amen.